Hi everyone. Welcome to the Basic Science series by Dr. Lokendra Kumar. Today's topic of discussion is cell theory. I will explain each postulate of cell theory in detail, so please stay tuned to understand the cell theory. Cell theory was formulated in 1839. Cell theory is credited to Matthias Sheldon and Theodore Schwann. However, many other scientists like Rudolf Virchow contributed to the theory. There are three famous postulates of cell theory. Number one, all known living things are made up of one or more cells. Living things means life. Life is a characteristic that distinguish physical entities that have biological processes such as signaling and self-sustaining processes. In addition, living things are those things that have life, for example, microorganisms, plants and animals. The question is, what is responsible for life in these living things? And the answer for that is the cell. Small living things are made up of one, two or few cells and large living things are made up of millions of cells. Cell is the basic structural, functional and biological unit of all known organisms. A cell is the smallest unit of life. Cells are often called the building block of life. That explanation concludes the first postulate of cell theory, which is all known living things are made up of one or more cells. Number two, all living cells arise from pre-existing cells by division. Cell division is the process by which a parent cell divides into two or more total cells. Every living cell has the potential to divide, can give rise to a daughter cell. This is the main reason for the existence of life in this planet. Every organism arises from a single cell after multiple cell division. That concludes our second postulate of the cell theory, which is all living cells arise from a pre-existing cell. Postulate number three. The cell is the fundamental unit of structure and function in all living organisms. Cells are the foundation of all organisms. They are the fundamental unit of life. The living cells have complex system of organelles that have specific function to keep cell alive. You can grow individual cell in a lab that indicates the potential of a cell to live by itself. The growth and the development of cell are essential for the maintenance of the host and survival of the organism. This explanation concludes our third postulate which is the cell is the fundamental unit of structure and function in all living organisms. I hope the presentation was helpful for you to understand the cell theory. In next episode, I'll be covering new topics of cell biology. Please stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you and Namaste.